I grew up in Fort Pierce, South Dakota, uh, and my dad, uh, he was in the quarter horse industry, and I'd go to school, and everybody asked me what I was gonna grow up, and I said, I'm gonna grow up as a jockey. And then when I turned 16, I started riding races and traveling with the horse racing industry. I was always a bigger rider, because my body frame is not built to be 118 pounds. And I started taking into doing drugs, drinking alcohol and stuff, and it took a toll on me. And one day I said, God, just show me something, a sign to get help. Sure enough, a couple days later, I go to jail. Got in trouble, got pulled over, go to jail. And I sat in there praying to God, like asking why me, why me? You know, and I was at rock bottom. I called my parents when I was in jail. They wouldn't even answer my phone call. They answered one time and they're like, you're in jail. Good luck. I made my mind up that, you know, the road that I'm going, it's either I'm gonna be in prison or, you know, and getting buried, and I, I could be wanted to be a you know a son to my mom and dad. I want I, and I have a kid that's in Alamo Gordo, New Mexico. I wanted to be a father to him. I went to the stable recovery program in Lexington. Uh, I came to that uh, last year, uh, uh, been December 24th of last year. And I talked to a guy named Christian Counselor, and he told me, "Are you ready to change your life?" And I said, "Yes, I am. I'm open-minded and willing to do anything to go to any length to change my life." because I just want to be on the backside of a racetrack on a horse. And after the 90 days that I was there and I graduated it and got my life back on track, he introduced me to Will Walden. I felt like when I first got in the, in the barn, I felt very, very like out of place, but I felt like it was home at the same time because I knew there was people in the barn. I knew Will really cared about me because he see, he seen something in me that I didn't see in myself. And, and continue working for him, working hard. It, it's really, it's paying off for me. My parents, they live an hour and a half from here. And now, like, when I got through into that program, they actually came and seen me. And, uh, <laughs> uh, like, my son, I, I get to talk to him. Like, the last few years of my life, I didn't get to talk to my son because I was out in the, in the chaos of my life. And now, it's like, I get to go and see him, and it's amazing, because I can be a son, I can be a father, I can be a brother. Coming to, from South Dakota to Kentucky, it's a big step of class of horses and people, you know, and uh, that's what I love about where I'm at. Minaret Station came to our barn. He was just, you know, he's always been a character, you know, when he first got there. And I started galloping him and stuff. And man, I mean, it, it, he's progressed so much. So we have a really strong connection with each other. And galloping wise, I mean, he he's an un unbelievable type of horse that I've ever been on. Getting on a horse that's going into a, a big race like that, the Breeders' Cup, I mean, it's, it's so exciting. Like there's times that I'll think about it, I almost want to cry about it, you know, because it's, it's tears of joy because it's, it's very exciting for this race team to get to send a horse to a race like that. He's progressing and hopefully in the Breeders' Cup we can run like a champ, so. <laughs>